Hi, this is Pastor Goodman, and I invite you to join with me now in the morning office of prayer on Sunday, November 29th, 2015. This is the first Sunday in Advent. As we begin the Advent season, I invite you to uh, open it with prayer. Here is our call to prayer from Psalm 111, verse 1. Hallelujah, I will give thanks to the Lord with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright in the congregation. And then there's the request for God's presence from Psalm 83, 18. Let them that know you, whose name is Yahweh, you alone are the most high over all the earth. And then there's our greeting from Psalm 71, verse 14. I shall always wait in patience and shall praise you more and more. And then we have our refrain for the morning lessons from Psalm 118, verse 22. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. And then as a uh, sort of introduction to the readings of the Advent season, we have this brief explanation. During Advent, the church celebrates the messianic works of the Hebrew prophets, especially that of the prophet Isaiah. Advent emphasizes as well the promise of the second coming of the Messiah in kingly triumph. We begin our readings with a reading from Matthew chapter 24, verses 37 to 39. Jesus taught us, saying, As it was in Noah's day, so will it be when the Son of Man comes. For in those days before the flood, people were eating, drinking, taking wives, taking husbands, right up to the day Noah went into the ark. And they suspected nothing till the flood came and swept them away. This is what it will be like when the Son of Man comes. And our refrain, The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Our morning psalm is from Psalm 72, verses 1 to 8. Give the king your justice, O God, and your righteousness to the king's son, that he may rule your people righteously, and the poor with justice, that the mountains may bring prosperity to the people, and the little hills bring righteousness. He shall defend the needy among the people, he shall rescue the poor and crush the oppressor. He shall live as long as the sun and moon endure, from one generation to another. He shall come down like rain upon the mown field, like showers that water the earth. In his time shall the righteous flourish. There shall be abundance of peace till the moon shall be no more. He shall rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Our morning refrain. The same stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. And then we have the cry of the church. Even so, come, Lord Jesus. Please join with me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now the prayer that is appointed for the week. Almighty God, give all of us grace to cast away the works of darkness and put on the armor of light. Now, in the time of this mortal life in which your Son Jesus Christ came to visit us in great humility, that in the last day, when he shall come again in his glorious majesty to judge both the living and the dead, we may rise to the life immortal through him who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. And now the concluding prayer of the church. Lord God, almighty and everlasting Father, 
you have brought me in safety to this new day. Preserve me with your mighty power, that I may not fall into sin, nor be overcome by adversity, and in all I do direct me to the fulfilling of your purpose. Through Jesus Christ my Lord. Amen. May God bless you today, and may you experience the power of His Holy Spirit moving in your life, and may you share Jesus with someone you know. God bless. I hope to see you at church.